All right, guys, welcome to episode 56 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, low key. Got John here with me, got Milo yo, and Maddie yo. in the back snoozing. We're back with another one, guys. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, and all that good shit. Please continue to do so. Don't forget to thumbs up, hit that like button, and hit that notification bell so you're notified every time that we drop. But yeah, man, we're back with another one. How you feeling, Marvin? Shit, I'm chilling. I'm fucking vibing. It's a beautiful day. It's actually cool, kind of cloudy out, but you know what I mean? It's not raining. Yeah, so. bro. It's October already, man. And the, 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 the temp is starting to drop, bro. That temp. That temp, bro. Nah, that shit's starting it's to drop. It's getting low real. now. Good, bro, because it's been fucking hot. Mm-hmm. I'm tired of that shit, bro. For real. So you know Niggas that beanie season. Niggas want to move season. down to Florida. <laughs> that beanie season, bro, for the bald motherfuckers, yo. Nah, bro. If you bald, you understand, man. You know, it gets cold out. <sighs> I'll and tell you what. If you think your face will get fucking start peeling from the cold, imagine a nigga scalp. Nah, for real. Yeah, that's that's not good at all. Yeah, that's nah, fuck trash. all that, bro. Yeah, fuck being cold. Fuck all that. But you know what I think is trash, Marvin? What's going on? <laughs> I think this whole election shit is fucking trash, bro. Nah, man. Like, How you feeling about I'm, it? I'm going to talk my shit on this, Let's man. talk our shit, bro. Today, we're here with the shits today, guys. So nah. if you agree or disagree, go down in the comments, man, and let us fucking know. This is just my opinion on it. You know, everybody has their own opinion. Facts. Entitled, uh, too. You're entitled yeah. to have your own opinion. Yeah, so like, if you if you don't think the same, that's fine. I still love y'all. You know what I mean? Facts. Um, I don't judge nobody because I got personal friends that they think the total opposite of me. Right. And it's just like, all right, well, okay, cool. I still love you, man. You Facts. know what I mean? But it's just we don't see the we don't see the same person. You know, we don't see eye to eye, basically. And it's like whatever. Right. Um, but yeah, when it comes down to this election thing, man, I really, really feel like. I don't really vote. I've never voted in my life, so this is my first time really like picking sides. To be honest with you, right? So I'm not really knowledgeable, like, like, like Obama. The Obama election, I wasn't really knowledgeable on it, so like, I just didn't vote. If you're not knowledgeable on something, then why are you gonna vote? Right? You know what I'm saying? You should really like put your research in, or if you don't believe in it. But yeah, like, yeah, the president that we have now is kind of just like he's not a great speaker at all. And I don't think he's like the greatest person either. I think he, you know, he cares just about himself and like his agenda only. But I really feel like when it comes to like the no more bullshit thing, I really feel like he's calling motherfuckers out. Right. And that's kind of like what I, what I'm thinking. Like he's calling a lot of motherfuckers out. Apparently, he just got coronavirus too. I think my opinion opinion on that is that he's trying to get the like he has the virus and he's trying to prove a point and say hey look i'm 74 years old i got the virus and i'm gonna fucking get through it and i really think he's gonna win the election that's just my opinion on it he's trying to prove a point like hey i got the the virus is not as bad as what the democrats are saying it is and i'm telling you like we're gonna get through this yeah but i agree with with a lot of what you said in the sense that i don't think trump really cares too much about the people that like as he portrays yeah i think he's more of a selfish type of person um but i'm not the type of nigga that hates either bro you know what i'm saying so where there's respect i give that respect and it's funny because i was just talking to you about this like i got into a little debate with my own mom bro shout out mommy i love you but um but yeah i was telling her i was like bro like i don't like him it's not that I like him. Yeah. But you got to give him his, his respect. The economy, this is, we're facing the second fucking Great Depression right now, bro. Yep. And you might not like his ideologies. You might not like the way he talks or dresses or any of that shit. But that's not what gets the job done. And I feel like at the end of the day, he has prevented the economy from falling further. You know? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to put it all on him. Yeah. You know, but... At the same time, he did do a lot of things that are helping the economy stay moving in a time like this. Do I feel he's fit to be president? No. Probably not. Do I feel Biden is fit to be president? No. I don't think so either. I don't think either either of these either, guys are fit or. to be president. Yeah. And guys, this is just our opinion. This is my opinion on it. Yeah. I personally don't I personally don't believe in voting. Yeah. You know, I'm not going to shit on the people that do. I'm not going to sit here and try to get you to not vote. You know what I'm saying? Because I see that a lot, too, where people are shaming and talking shit about people that are deciding to go vote. You know, 
It's like shitting on a person for deciding to go to church. If that's what you believe in, bro, that's what you believe in. Yeah, that's what you, you know. What I'm do. saying that you know, it, there's nothing wrong with that as long as you're not out there hurting other people, and you know, doing shit to other people to to make yourself look better. Then cool, bro. Believe in what you believe in. But ultimately, bro, I I really do think he's he's gonna get reelected. Yeah, he's going for eight years. Um, his supporters are through the roof, man. Like them. Dumb Trump supporters, bro. They really support. Yeah, yeah. They're, they're really bringing out there. everybody. Yeah. They're bringing everybody to go vote. Yeah. So if you believe in that, you know, if you believe in in the whole system and that voting really does help and and all that, then go for it, guys. Go vote. Don't let anybody else tell you. Like I just said, I personally don't believe in that, but don't let somebody like me tell you, oh, that's fucking stupid. Don't go do it. If that's what you believe in, bro. Go for it. Facts. But. Ultimately, man, I feel like it's a fucking it's a shit show, bro. Mm -hmm. it, it's like I, you got you got a, a reality TV star and a guy that is clearly not in the mental capacity to fucking run a country. Yeah, he's not. He's you not, know, and it's yeah. like at that point, you're like for the last two elections, three elections, it's just been like the you got to pick the lesser of two evils. My argument is is like yo, like they say like he's a fucking racist, right? That Trump is a racist. Okay, so how is he a racist? I want to know how is he a racist? Like, and I give him, and I ask the Democrats or the liberals, whatever you want to call them, and I say, hey, like, how is he a racist? They can't give me an accurate answer because there is no proof. You know, did it's you know all that? Based off of feeling, he just got a Nobel Prize. You know what I'm saying? And he's also got pictures of Rosa Parks for donating. He's actually one of the most. He's one of the most like he donated the most to the black community. Yeah, out of no, everybody. He's done a lot. He actually has done a lot for the black community. He's let a lot of people out of prison. Yeah. The thing is, bro, when you, like, you could do all the good in the world, but when you start acting a certain way, that's what rubs people the wrong way. Yep. And that's what takes away from the good shit that you have done, mm -hmm. you know? And that's not right. Yeah. Because at the end of the you can't shit on everything somebody's done and say it's all bad just because you personally don't like them, bro. Yeah. Like, that's just your personal belief. And I feel like too many people let their feelings get in the fucking way. Yeah. Like, oh, he said something about Mexicans. As soon as he says something and th people hear the word Mexican, it's like that triggers something in their brain. Oh, he's being racist. Yeah. Maybe he's just talking about that specific group of people at that moment. Mm -hmm. You like, know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, do I believe he's racist though? Yeah. <laughs> I'm I mean, not going to act and sit here like he's not, bro. I like, I don't have no proof of it. Yeah. But I personally, you know, I personally do feel he's right. You know, he's racist. Mm -hmm. Now, has he... He has fucking said that the KKK and shit is bad before too, though. Yeah. Like, there's videos yeah. of him saying like, "Yo, the K like I don't support the KKK. I don't support white supremacy." You know, he's like, "But also, Antifa, the other side, is bad too." Yeah. You know, like bad. he he's like, "You can't ignore, you can't attack one side and ignore the other side." And it's true. Mm -hmm. That part of it is true. Like. But ultimately, bro, when it comes to politics, you can't you can't speak politics with too many people because again, it goes back to feelings, you know. And yep. then they get mad about it. They want to fucking you know. They're just it, it's just they start saying, oh, after this fucking for him saying stand down to this to the group. Uh, to yeah, he says group. stand by, but, stand by. But you know what? I looked into it and I looked up the group and I looked into it. The leader of that group is actually black. He's a black man. You know what I mean? And there's mm -hmm. black individuals in that group. So it has nothing to do with race. And that's not even a KKK type of fucking group. It, they, they, they mix things up. That's, that's part of the media. The whole riots things that, that was going on, it really wasn't as bad as you think it was. Because, no, of course. Because of, of course. what the media was doing. And so, I feel like a lot of those people were paid to be out there. Yeah, facts. Ultimately. Yeah, exactly. Um, but yeah, it's just, honestly, my opinion on it is that I feel like it's rich versus poor. And let's just say that I feel like if I work my ass off and I, and I have generational wealth for my family, I feel like the poor should not take that away from me, if that makes sense. If you're lazy, I don't feel like the lazy should be matched with the hardworking people. You nah, see what I I'm saying? I, I completely agree with that. Yeah, like, they should, like if, you, if you work your ass off your whole life and you, you, know, you accumulate generational wealth, nobody has the right to come take that from you. But I feel like the, the bigger problem is the not having the equal opportunity to get to that yeah. generational wealth. Yep. You see what I'm saying? And that happens a lot. Mm -hmm. That does happen a lot. And it's just you like... You know what it, I mean? Like, yeah, it the, just don't the, make sense. Like, the, um, 
the owner of a uh, of Wells Fargo said that the reason why they don't have more black people working for them is because there's not there's not a, a bigger source of black you know scholars and shit like that to work mm-hmm. and when you start talking like that it's like well where are you looking at because there's plenty of black graduates out here that probably do numbers very well probably doing better than the people you got working for you yeah you know and it's like I don't know, bro. They're worried, they're worried about... They're, the thing is that they're worried about, oh, okay, he only paid $750 in taxes. Okay, that's fine. Yeah, but it, everybody what about, can do that. Okay, so why are you guys focused on him? Well, you're talking about the wealthy. Why aren't we looking at the peop- the owner of uh, Amazon? Why aren't we looking at how much they he paid for zero. taxes? Why don't, pay why don't taxes. we look at Bill... You know, why don't we look at all these people? Why are we just pointing fingers at him? Because he's just president. That's it. Bro, ultimately, it comes down to jealousy, bro. Like, people wish they could only pay $750 fucking dollars and make that much money. Yeah. But you can't. And that's the thing that pisses me off about it. Like, you don't... You don't have to like somebody to be like, you know what? They're fucking like what they're doing. I could do it. Yeah. Because the guy, uh, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad talks about it. He's like, it's all about how much you study. Yep. Nigga, everybody could fucking be paying zero taxes. But guess what? The, those guys went, studied how to do it and really did it. And Loopholes. now they're paying. Yeah. Now they're paying zero taxes, bro. Yeah. You could do it too. Just learn how to do it. Uh, financial financial mm-hmm. literacy is very important, bro. If you don't know yeah. what the fuck you're looking at, you can't talk about and it. That's, and that's where the Democrats, they start. I shouldn't say Democrats because I'm not. I'm talking See, to them as yeah, a whole. Yeah, bro. And but, this is why, yeah. you know, like I was just talking yeah. about it, Like I don't like getting into these debates but like most, this because like. Most Democrats, it's too, too much separatism. Yeah, like it's, too, it's, it's too much. You start pointing fingers and shit, but it's like, but the most, t- most of the Democrats that I know compared to the Republicans is like most of the Democrats are poor. You know what I'm saying? And most, you know, most of them are on, you know, uh, help from the government and stuff like that, and take advantage of the system. And that's why the Democrats they feel like they need those people because they eat off them as well. Yeah, on yeah that side. Nah, facts. There are a group of people, but that happens in both sides. Exactly, bro. and that's what—that's exactly what I mean. Like, all you see on the fucking news and social media is Democrats, Republicans, left, right. Bro, stop separating people. We're all—we yeah. all live in the same fucking place. Yeah, we all live. We all have the same fucking struggles. Mm-hmm. We all have the same opportunities. We all have the same shit. Like, we 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 can't sit here and keep separating ourselves because the more we divide ourselves between each other, yeah. the easier it is for the motherfuckers to sit here and do what they need to do. Because while, yeah. fo- while we're sitting here focused on Trump, Biden, left, right, Democrats, Republicans, bro, they're passing laws that aren't beneficial to anybody, either side. They're fucking doing shit and, and moving money that both sides could fucking use and it can help everybody. Yeah. So it's, it's like, it's always around election time, bro, when people want to like, just really separate themselves even more, bro. And I, I don't understand it. That's why, like, yeah. I try to stay away, man. With the I black, with, with the Black Lives Matter movement, you know what I mean. I, I actually agree with it to a certain extent. You know, obviously, no, I agree that I agree that Black Lives do matter exactly because they do. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, absolutely. And the thing that just blows my mind is that. I just don't really trust the organization as just an organization. I trust no. I trust the movement behind it with the people. I trust the intentions. I don't, I don't that... trust I don't trust the movement at, like no. I don't trust I don't trust the movement completely. Where you know just I don't like, trust the movement at all. You, and you go on the ta- website. We've talked about it how bro the the black people that do their research don't fucking support it either. Because yeah. how are you gonna support a, a a movement that was started by a white Jewish man? Exactly. It wasn't started by your own kind. And then you're, there's fucking riots breaking out across America saying, oh, it's Black Lives Matter when it was it's a white man funding it. Exactly. So at the end of the day, who is it really that like who's winning? Who? What, what's the agenda? What's the agenda? Is the agenda trying to make black people look bad? And look, oh, look at these savages while you're low key paying them. Yeah. You're like, yo, I'm going to pay these actors to fuck up this store and blame it on Black Lives Matter. Yep. That, Come on, bro. Yeah, just like, like there's, that. There's a bunch of shit that happens low key, bro. That that's why I don't, I don't like getting into it, man. But guys, go down in the comments and, and let, let us, us know, know what y'all think. If y'all think that we're just talking bullshit, if you agree, don't agree, yeah. all that good shit. Because yo, because I'm not talking shit. You go onto the Black Lives Matter uh, website and you scroll all the way down. And you can see who's supporting and who's funding it. It's the Democratic Party. It's not the Republican. It's the Democratic Party that's that's supporting this. Right. You know what I mean? So there's always, they're, they're starting a division. I'm telling you. They're dividing us. And listen, man. And it's working. It's working. Look, it's working because 
I, most, I, most people are looking at it like that. Yeah. Like, oh, these fucking Republicans are, or these yeah. fucking Democrats. Like, listen, man, it's people that don't know where the fuck to go. Everybody's been fucking, you know what I'm saying? For the most part, everybody's been on the lower totem pole of, of the financial bracket. And people are just going based off of what they fucking hear and see other people say and do. Mm -hmm. Most people don't have their own real opinion. Most people are looking at social media, looking at CNN, looking at BBC, looking at all these platforms, and they're not generating their own thoughts. Like, you're just fucking, most people are spewing bullshit out that they fucking see other people say or, or, or they read other people fucking write. Yeah. Like, at the end of the day, bro, people got to start thinking for themselves, bro, and we got to stop separating each other the way we do, bro. That's why I don't believe in that bullshit, because... Like it just it, like people really start growing hatred for each other, bro. Yeah. And you start like, bro. Like, I'm not even gonna lie, like, bro. When I went, said, to, yeah. what you just said isn't true, bro. Yeah. yeah. Just to clear it up, how yeah. you're like, oh, most Democrats are fucking poor. Yeah. Most Democrat. That's all bullshit that's said by the fucking news. That's not true. Yeah. Because guess what, bro? I know a lot of Democrats that are high up in their fucking companies yeah. and they make decent bread. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and, it's like, and, when and I, mean, I know yeah. Republicans that are doing the same thing. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But when like, I when I need a when I when I mean by that is that. Not actual, like, successful people. I'm just talking about normal people that I mean, like, a Democratic supporter that I know personally. Not somebody that, like, I'm not talking about any stars or anything like that. I'm talking about somebody personally. No, I'm personally. talking about people and, that and, I know that and, fucking, and, they're general managers of their yeah, whole company. And I you listen, and like, most, of, most of the people that I know that are supporting the left side are, they're not financially set. They're getting help from the government or just, they're just taking advantage of the system. Most Democrats, every Republican that I met personally that's on the right side is not on that. And they're against it. And that's just me personally viewing it. And there's a lot of people that I know. So I'm it's just I'm just kind of like, you know, I'm looking at it as a whole and I'm like, man, you know, every every single Democratic, uh, every every person that's on the Democrat side is kind of just like. They're and not, that, that's, they're not. that's part of the problem is there you go again saying yeah. every Democrat I yeah. know. Well, listen, but if that's your personal experience. That's your personal experience. Yeah. But we can't put it out there and be like, oh, all Democrats, all they want to do is fucking live off the system. Because yeah. there's some that younger. Fucking yeah. true. There's that younger Democrats. True. And there's been plenty of years where the, the Republicans had way more unemployment rate and way more fucking welfare on the, on record. Than the Democratic Party, it fluctuates, bro. There's yeah. years where Democrats, you know, they're they're the ones using the welfare more. There's other years where Republicans are using the fucking welfare more. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I agree. I agree with the fact that like not everybody should be able to use that because there's a lot of people that are using the system. Yeah. There's like nobody should be able to use the system. That should be for people that really need it. And if you're one of the people out there using the system because that's what you were taught to do, you need to break out of that out of that bullshit and start yeah. creating your own way bro because that's fucked up you're mm -hmm. taking from people that really need it yep you're taking from people that really don't have a, a place to stay and, and shit to and, do and that's you know a good saying? and that's a good that's a good uh segue to like corruption too because that's a big part i had an argument with one of my friends and he's on the left completely you know he's on the left side he mm -hmm. doesn't he doesn't like the republican party at all and he's one of my closest friends you know what i mean so he's a good he's a good friend of mine but he's oh man he's just we every time we argue, it's just like don't, he's like, "Don't you want the right thing? Don't you want free health care? Don't you want free, you know, s s just like stuff that we're supposed to have, like as basic humans?" And I agree with it. I'm right in the middle. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, America is a business. You know what I'm saying? And it's kind of every country is a business. You know, it's like th this is how this is how it is. And I remember him saying, "If there was one thing that he would change, it would be corruption." And I said, and I reminded him, I said, "Yo." You said you told me the one thing that you you know you wanted to change in the world was corruption, and that's one thing that's never gonna go away. Yeah, corruption is never. Yeah, it's like crime, bro. Corruption is just the highest level, the most organized level of crime, bro. And all countries participate. All countries fucking dibble and dabble and yeah. play and play with that shit. But ultimately, bro, it, it's just it's all a divide and conquer tactic, bro. I'm telling you right now, brother, passing laws and doing shit that are going to affect all of us, all of us, whether you're Republican, liberal, Democrat, it's going to affect all of us in, in ways that are bad for everybody. Yeah. And at, when that time comes, that's when people are going to realize they're going to look at it and be like, damn, bro, like we spent the last 50 years fighting all Democrats, Republicans, liberals, whatever, all this bullshit. And ultimately, y'all were fighting against each other. 
at the end of the day. Because unity is what we fucking need, bro. Real unity is what we need, bro. We can't sit here and keep blaming each other and pointing fingers and, oh, y'all take welfare, y'all don't, this and that. Like, bro, we everybody needs fucking help at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. So... It is what it is. Yeah. Should you abuse the system? Absolutely fucking not. Facts. I believe that you should get up off your ass and go get it. However it is that you get it, but don't sit around and at, with your hand out expecting for people to fucking take care of you. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, but I don't know. Bro. Some that's people just, just have multiple opinion. kids. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's some people that I see that are abusing the system as in like, they got, we talked about this the other day, how they have, you know, the brand new fucking iPhone, the brand yeah, new shoes, brand new. They got $1,200 fucking Jordans, but they're only paying $80 in rent. Because they fucking they live in, the, in section the, eight, yeah, and that's fucked up, bro. And it's like, come on, my nigga, like go afford, your, like go pay your way. Yeah, go you having three, four kids. Life. You having three, but four kids. Yeah. We can't, we can't subject that just to one party or just to one side, bro. Because that's like saying all cops are bad, or that's like saying all fucking minorities are criminals. Yeah, that's not true. Uh, we we just we can't bunch everybody together and be like, oh, Democrats are lazy and all they want to do is use the yeah. welfare. Because I agree with that. I agree we should have yeah. free health care. Canada has free health care. Yeah. Plenty of countries have free health care. And yeah. they're not breaking the fucking budget. Yeah. So what it comes down to. You know yeah. Like, yeah. It comes down to fucking, it comes down to people being greedy, bro. Yeah. It comes down to the people that run this country. They don't want you to fucking, if they could tax you, they're going to tax you. Yeah. At every fucking turn. Yeah. Every single fucking turn. Just to go on certain highways, you're getting taxed. Yep. To go to certain stores, you're getting taxed. That's why yeah. you look at fucking Walmart prices ver compared to Target. You're getting taxed at Target. Mm -hmm. You're getting, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like there's certain, like, it's all about fucking money and greediness, bro. And at the end of the day, you, like, I don't care how much money you end up having, bro. That's one thing that I always pray for is that I hope, I hope that. My, I always keep the heart that I have. Mm -hmm. I don't care if I have a hundred trillion fucking dollars. Like, I hope I have the same compassion for people, bro, because that's what we really need. It's just compassion. It's not yeah. money. It's not about money. It's about compassion. Because yeah. honestly, if the top people and the billionaires in this world, trillionaires in this world, really did have compassion, they could end world world hunger in a week. They could. They could. They could if they wanted to. So, what are we really fucking talking about right now? They rather have wars than feed the poor. Tupac. And ultimately, that's what it comes down to, bro. So, guys, go down in the comments and let us know what you think. This was yep. probably a little bit different than what you guys are used to. We don't really give our opinions like that. But I feel like it's important because y'all want to know. People want to know. Yeah. And, you know. I'm a, I'm a Trump know? supporter. Look look, yeah. look at me. Look what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a fucking American fucking flag. <laughs> at the end of the day, I feel like there's no more bullshit. I feel like he's trying to. he's trying to end all the people that are trying to take advantage of the system. Money that could be. You know, well spent into schools, into roads, into other stuff that we can invest in instead of, you know, the same old system, people just taking advantage of it and just taking our money, you know, because at the end of the day, they're taking our taxes and taking our money to invest into whatever the fuck they're buying, the fucking, uh, you know, Jordans and the brand new fucking Beats and, and we all know they can't fucking afford it using an EBT card to fucking pay for your fucking groceries, but you got the most expensive shit on. You know, and it's just like we got to stop this corruption shit, and that's that's the way I view it, bro. Either side, yeah, bro. And listen, man, I respect your point of view, bro. I think completely different. I think that it's all bullshit. There ain't gonna be no change whether <laughs> fucking Biden comes or fucking Jesus comes, and it doesn't fucking matter. Sleepy it's Joe, been the same. It's been the same fucking bullshit for the last two hundred and seventeen years in this country. It'll never guys. change. Ever since the first fucking president came, I it's been that. the same shit, bro. So that's why I really don't give two fucks about it, man, because I personally don't think it's going to fucking change. People are going to, bro, it's been 50 years Republicans and Democrats been fighting and 50 more years are going to be saying the same shit about each other. All oh, y'all are greedy. All oh, y'all are lazy. It's all bullshit. At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, that, it, that's my opinion on it, guys. John, you know, he's a Trump supporter. He's going to vote for Trump. Yeah! If that's how he feels, that's how he feels. Let's do it. I don't give a flying fuck. Let's see how it goes. This is my <laughs> yeah, first man. time voting. So if, it, if nothing changes in the next four years of him you being know, president, I'm never voting I again, went, guys. I went through that with Obama. Exactly what the fuck he's talking <laughs> about. When I turned 18, I was like, yo, I'm going to vote. When I saw that there was absolutely no fucking difference. Yeah. 
I was like, nigga, this this is stupid. Like, yeah. it absolutely makes no fucking sense. Because they're all tell you, oh, we're going to lower taxes. Nigga, Trump already raised taxes. They, bro, they he already raised taxes. They voted so for what Obama. The fuck, like, <laughs> Yo, what people, the fuck are we talking nah. about, bro? Like, listen, man, they all lies. <laughs> people voted for Obama because he's black, guys. That's nah, it. a lot of it was that. But a lot of it was just the change, too. Like, that yeah. was the change. That was that the people, change that was supposed that, to happen. And it never did. It never did. What the fuck happened with the change Trump was supposed to bring? He just changed up fucking children that's what all he fucking Listen, did bro, all these all these presidents are liars they all have blood on their hands and none of them really give a fuck about you bro that's my opinion that's how i feel about it guys <laughs> no, but you look at fucking michelle obama and you, i know you've seen that ad on snapchat or instagram of her talking like Joe's a great guy. I mean, you look. Bro, you, you might be. Yeah, you might be a great fine. husband. You might be a great father. You might be a great grandfather. You might be a great fucking businessman. <laughs> At the end of the day, that, that doesn't mean that you'll be a great fucking president. Yeah. Like, and that's the other thing about it. Like, we can't sit here and like neither one of these niggas is shit. <laughs> neither one of these niggas is shit, in my opinion. You know, like no, I no, said, no, yeah, I Trump yeah. is a celebrity, a, a celebrity star, bro. He was on The Apprentice and had his own fucking show. He is a celebrity, bro. And then Joe Biden is Sleepy Joe. Nigga don't know what the fuck he's talking about. They have to be reminding him and on they his They have to put a wire. They, they got to remind him on his earpiece what he's talking about. So ultimately, I think we're fucked. <laughs> <laughs> I think this country's fucked for right now, guys. And that's just my opinion on it. But, yeah. you know, if you guys, you know, whether you support Trump or Biden, guys, or you don't give a fuck, whatever, we love y'all. Yeah. For real. Like, just, we, just, just let we us know. We love you. Go down in the comments and let us know. We're, we love you guys, whether... You know. Whichever side you pick, yeah. you have the right to vote for whoever you want to vote for, and you have the right to not vote if you don't fucking believe in either party. Facts. Don't let nobody fucking tell you different, guys. Yep. But yeah, it's been yours truly, low key. We love you. Don't forget to thumbs up, like, hit that notification bell, and, and let remember, us know who you voting yeah, for. Yeah, let us know who you voting for. If it's Biden, Trump, or fucking nobody, who, who gives, gives a, a fuck? shit? <laughs> <laughs> but we out of here, guys. Love, peace.